I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I promise myself not to do it. I don't know if you have ever felt loved in a way that you don't deserve. May God, who sees in secret, bless you in broad daylight. Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joyce for those of you who are new here. Thank you for clicking on my YouTube channel. Thank you for deciding to watch this video. And guys, as I always say, I will never get tired of telling you thank you. So today guys, uh, I have decided to do this one video that I honestly have felt compelled to do. And for a while now, it's something that I was feeling that I really needed to do, but some part of me was convincing me otherwise. Yes, um, some part of me was telling me that it was kind of unnecessary yes but after evaluating the impact like the whole issue had on my life i felt like i really needed to just sacrifice some few minutes of my time and have a sit down and express my appreciation to every single soul that was with me throughout my healing journey yes guys and i even don't know where to start honestly i don't know where to start because it's something that have just come up it's something that i, w I had no plans of doing it like right now but i felt compelled to just sacrifice some few minutes of my time and just have a simple sit down and express my appreciation to every person who was with me throughout the healing process that as i was as as, as i have told you and uh, i know most of you don't understand what i'm speaking about and kindly if you're one of them just go back to my previous video and you watch um and you watch and maybe you understand there was this thing that happened with my baby daddy if you have watched not watched that video kindly go back because i'm not ready to go back to details about the video so uh if you have watched that that video that incident happened and when that incident happened i was living alone like i was living alone totally alone <laughs> in a, a small house that i had rented and where i had rented after we have separated with my baby daddy so uh, just a br brief story of what happened uh, there was this incident that happened uh, as i was telling you on july july august last year uh with my baby baby daddy and i, I was left injured yes it was kind of an assault i was left injured um on the road <laughs> yes and let me just start from there so if you have not watched if you have not watched the previous videos kindly go back because my soul my mind and everything in me does not want to go back and tell the story again yes yes so when that incident happened as i was telling you i was left on the road alone and uh i felt the urge to just come and do a video to rec to express my appreciation to every single soul that helped me from that point when I was left on the road alone to this point, actually to this point, because I feel like some people are still in my life, still like extending their helping hand in my life up to this date, <laughs> yes. So I feel like I'm still in a kind of a healing process, yes, but uh, for now, like I'm good, yes, I'm actually good so guys um i don't know where to start i don't know i honestly don't know where to start but i think I, i'll try to go sequential from that point when the incident happened so when the incident happened as i was telling you guys i was left on the road alone and by god's grace god sent people in my life like so immediately like when i was left on the road alone some people came like so instantly after the incident happened some people came and many of the people were motorbike guys and they i remember yeah they were motorbike guys and the other people were like when you come to fort anagari you know we are on the road so so immediately people came and mostly I remember seeing motorbike guys na kumbuka nikiwa kwa gari when they were saying that you dema mekufa dema mekufa nini nini and then they tried opening the door <laughs> and sometimes like have you ever been in a situation where by you feel like you are just alone like you are just so alone and you don't even expect anyone to help you and then god just send people in your life and you are like oh my goodness Oh my goodness. Yani God, you have been with me all this while and I was kind of why why was I even feeling alone? Why was I even feeling lonely when 
a you god was just there watching me like protecting me like oh my goodness so as i was telling you people came like so immediately motorbike nakumbuka motorbike guys those are the people who came tried to open the door ya garis babu nilikuwa bado niko kwa you know the after the the incidents like kind of okay after the accident let me term it an accident like gari ilikuwa imegongwa ime saidi mbele tu next time that kufungua mlango it was an issue so some people came they tried so hard opening the door and they opened the door and i was injured they had my fractured leg i had so many bruises on my head i was bleeding on my head and some people came and wakanito wakagari wakaniweka hapo hivyo chini and sometimes i feel like they were just concerned because i, I think so i think i i wonder like hata wakuwa na ogopa like they were doing they were helping me with their bare hands i want to gloves on my knee and i was bloody i was bloody all kona to kwa gari na nyeka hapo hivyo chini i remember there was certain woman who when when alikuwa anipanguza alikuwa anipanguza macho because i had blood that was flowing in ingia maka kwa macho alikuwa ananipanguza damu kwa macho and oh my goodness oh my goodness okay I don't want to be emotional and I, I, I really hope that I'm going to end this video without being emotional because I because something that really touched my heart and yeah so I, I really want to appreciate people from that point when you alikuja wakafungua mlango and then so instantly like wengine wa mtu mwingine alikuwa na gari a certain man who had a car so immediately he came there and then when he saw me like with so many bruises we were like with so like the bloody me with a fractured bone on my leg he offered himself to take me to to the nearest hospital and is someone that I, I i didn't know like he could have decided not to do it, not to even do it like i was a stranger i was really a stranger he could have just decided that you know what let police work with their white akina what is it called an ambulance and then she will be taken to the nearest hospital but that man decided that i'm going to help this lady and i will make sure that she immediately go to hospital get to help the hospital and get the help that she require and so i remember people trying like what were motorbike motorbike guys okay honestly for a long period me nimekuwa tu against watu wa motorbike guys because of <laughs> some time back nime try ku snatch your phone twice and i, I kind of had an issue with the, with motorbike guys i kind of sikuwa na trust thing like i felt like i'm saying wa motorbike i was like okay let me put my phone well let me put my handbag well because there was this there is this notion that many of motorbike guys wanakuwa tu ni wase wa kuiba and that that kind of things so on this day they were not like that okay i lost my phone i lost some money i lost some items there but here there is a life that they saved so everything else is that like to me it's like nonsense i even can't talk about like i lost my phone like i lost some cash i lost my clothes i closed my hand but i i even can't say about that because the bottom line is that they helped me they took me to the nearest hospital despite the fact that i was a stranger and they didn't even ask for a single coin and oh my goodness i remember when i was taken to the to that car or like wakizaribu kukingana kuningiza kwa gari because i had i was injured on my leg and it was really painful it was really painful and i was shouting like walikuwa na shinwata vile wataniweka kwa gari but by god's grace they did it I got to the nearest hospital and I remember some two motorbike guys I don't know some I think one motorbike guys of two I don't remember really well so babu like mini linga kwa gari and then nikaenda but there was this motorbike guy mwenye alinifuata akiwa amebeba certain lady oh my goodness oh my goodness like that this lady is still in touch with me up to this point and honestly I salute you honestly I salute you I don't want to mention your name here but I still salute you like for the kindness you showed like Oh my goodness. Like you didn't know me. Like huko unanijua and my dude hata ulikuwa unaenda kwako home but you decided that I will leave I will leave everything that I was doing and I'll go with this stranger to the hospital to make sure that she get the help that she require. And I remember the, the hospital ilikuwa honestly sijoi na kwa yo. See up to date actually sijoi yo. See like 
Joy and uh, and one of these days, Tainaku it after. The couple like Osi Osi was a. Uh, I don't know if the hospital was in a first floor. I'm a ni place ni likuwa ni attendi we do likuwa on a first floor because I remember them lifting me up like ni me fikisho up before downstairs and. Dokia me sema ni endeju. So I remember the motorbike guys to the motorbike guy together with the driver, like the owner of the car in a metuleta kwagari, a good Samaritan. I remember them wakini beba wakani peleka on the first floor, Nikalazo Kitanda, like waka room fulani up where I received my first aid. And I really want to thank them. I honestly really want to thank them. Like those people were totally stranger to me. They were totally straight to me, but they decided that they are going to help me. And I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to you. And later, so after I was taken to the hospital, I also want to say thank you to this doctor who really took care, good care of me. He gave me his first aid, like so very fast, like couple upon a couple of first aid. And then they referred me to another hospital. I remember they said that because I had so many bruises on the head, I was bleeding and they could not, I had bleated my hair by then. And so they could not see, like, okay, they could not see, okay, internal damage like my scalp has an issue so they decided that i should be taken to another hospital they said that such a case is a kind of serious case and us is we're just a small hospital so we just surrender just take your patient and they referred me to another hospital and actually remember they were referring me to kenyatta yes they were referring me to kenyatta and after we were we had we contacted some few ambulances there was this another doctor that came in and decided that, you know what, before you even decide to go to Kenyatta, I would prefer that you just rush this lady to the nearest hospital. And then I walked a story in a CT scan and that, so, because they, had, they, they doubted, like they felt like Nikona internal, Nikona internal injuries on my head because I was really bleeding on my head. And so they decided that, okay, the doc advised us that we should go to the nearest hospital. <clears throat> Another nearest hospital, ni Angalive first. And then from that hospital, no what to refer to Kenyatta if we really need to go to Kenyatta. So I really want to take also this opportunity to appreciate that doc because like sometimes we just see doc and we feel like at we paid them and that's all at Sababu Triwalipa, like we that cancels like we don't need to say thank you to them but i really felt like they really did, did a good job and they handled me with a lot of care oh my goodness oh my goodness like the way they used to talk to me like the way they talked to me so nicely so calmly it was kind of like soothing yeah so i want to take this opportunity to say thanks to them and also um the ambulance people, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. If you have never been an ambulance in, in ambulance, please, please, please don't pray even for that for even for your worst enemy. Don't pray for them to be in ambulance. Because I remember like the whole incident of me being in ambulance, like attack oh ambulance, oh my goodness, with a fractured bone. It was so painful. It was so painful. But those people handled me with a lot of care. And with Lenny Lee Kwakwa ambulance, I was in so much pain. Like, I was in so much pain. I remember at every bump, Jilikwana shout, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I thank God that right now is something that I'm remembering and I'm kind of putting a smile on my face. But by then, it was so painful. And I remember Nikki Kwakwa ambulance, those people doki fulani hapo hivyo honestly meta si wakumbuki because blood ilikuwa ina flow mpaka inaingia kwa macho so I, I, siwezi wakumbuka hata nikawaona siwezi wakumbuka honestly I remember them wakini dunga sindano fulani hapo hivyo wakisema like kwa likoni you know watu wakiwa kwa, kwa ambulance if you have never been an ambulance na wanakwambia usiwa yombo kwa kwa ambulance like those people wanakonga too like in rush like how is the patient doing how is the patient doing what can we do to save this life what can we yes that was what was happening so I remember them fucking dunga sindano fulani hapo hivyo ya uchungu because I was in so much pain like I was in so much pain and nikinyamaza tu hivyo wananiuliza 
choice unaendelea je ukoaje koaje so they decided to kunidunga hiyo sindano ya uchungu and like i just feel like i should be grateful to them like those people i know yes that's their job to save life but when they save a life and that life is yours honestly you ought to say thanks honestly you ought to say thanks so that's why i'm taking this opportunity to say thanks to them and also my family oh my goodness oh my goodness like my family turned up in the hospital within a blink of an eye honestly i can just say within a blink of an eye because i remember nikipelekwa the first hospital the first hospital, the lady who accompanied me in the accompanied me in the car uh after to mevika no even before we went to the hospital she asked me like is there someone that you can call right now yes i said yes i called my sister and i called my brother like so instantly and i really thank this lady honestly i really thank this lady and i pray that god help me that one day, one of this fine day like i should just appreciate her in a different way because for now what happened in Elisha how what she did but what she did really meant the world to me so i just want to appreciate her so nakumbuka like after they, my 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 sister was called and my brother like they came so instantly like they came so instantly they left everything they were doing i remember my sister had a small kid but then alikuwa na katoto kake kadogo and they were only walikuwa tu ni wawili kwa nyumba and she left everything she was doing actually she left her baby but then she was almost 3 years hata kwa fisha 3 years she, she left her baby she left her baby in the house alone to come in the hospital because she had i was involved in an accident and for this I, I i just want to appreciate her honestly i really want to appreciate her so big i want to appreciate her together with my brother they rushed the hospital so, so very fast and immediately after that honestly i even don't know who contacted my up to date i even don't know who contacted my cousins my uncles my friends can i tell you something guys by the time i was getting to the other hospital that i was to be admitted i met like my whole family was there waiting for me i met my uncles i met my cousins i met some of my friends and some of them walifika mbele yangu like walipiga simu like mnapeleka hospitali gani and then they were told wanapeleka hospitali fulani i met them there and i remember hata nikiingizwa kwa hosi i remember the, there was this one doctor who came Uh, she was a okay, okay, not a doctor a nurse. I remember there was this one nurse who came to me and told me that hey Joyce si unapendwa hey Joyce you are really loved like your entire <laughs> she, she said like like your entire clan is here <laughs> and honestly I really want to take this opportunity to appreciate every single person who showed up at that moment like it helped me like even to relieve to kind of like it kind of reduced my pain yes i was in so much great pain but seeing my family around me like seeing my cousins around me seeing my friends asking me like how are you feeling how can we do to help what can we do to help you like seeing my entire family like putting pressure on the doctor so that they can attend to me like so very fast <sighs> Oh my goodness like when i remember everything oh my goodness oh my goodness i don't want to be emotional okay this is not my passion i'm not going to be emotional i promise you so uh i really want to thank them like they really did something great as i was telling you guys by then i used to live alone and when the whole incident happened to my mind i even didn't think that there is anyone who can turn up like at but they turn up like walikuwa wengi actually up to date i even don't know like walikuwa ngapi because walikuwa wengi walikuwa wengi nakumbuka after nimeingizwa kwa hosi and then nikapelekwa kwa 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 nika admitiwa kwa kitanda they were still there and they just wanted to come like waka hapo hivyo tukaribu na kwa kitanda yangu the, the nurses were like no this is not visiting hours so you should wait sijui ya saa saba sijui ni saa nane you should wait uh, until 2 o'clock and then you come back and see her but they were like no <laughs> no we just want to kutoka hapa hivi after tumejua half it and by the time they were living true to their words by the time they were living in the hospital walikuwa wameshajua like how how damaged i was like the injuries i had wakajua like my head haikuwa na internal injuries wakajua the only place that i had a serious injuries was on my leg and the others was just bruises and some tissue damage 
the soft tissue damage sorry i really want to thank them honestly i really want to thank them oh my goodness i really want to thank them because what they did maybe to them is something they they think that it was something like it was just showing up it was just putting pressure on the doctor it was like they feel they kind of feel like maybe it's not something worth so much recognition but for what they did i salute them i salute them and i pray that may god bless them big time so after that uh guys i was also i was admitted in the hospital and oh my goodness when i was admitted in the hospital like every single visiting hours like you know i, I was an admitted in the hospital and the next bed haikuwa nam to the next bed when you nilikuwa haikuwa nam to so every single like visiting hour in the morning in the lunch time and in the evening up was some more they because it's 7 or kwanza saa 10 hapo every single time like the next kitanda ingeja watu hivi the next time ingeja tu watu hivi like they've come to see me and oh my god yes i don't i don't want to be emotional i don't want to be emotional because time for being emotion is long forgotten <laughs> yes yes I, I, i remember oh my goodness i remember like ningeletewa wananiletea uji i'm not fan i'm not a big fan of uji <laughs> for those who know me aliletewa blended juice naletewa matunda like nilikuwa na matunda mingi like hata watu wakikuja nilikuwa naambia like just eat the foods because you people like my cabinet is full and you are still bringing more and more foods like where am i gonna take them and at the same time in the hospital i was offered food i was offered the fruits and i was offered like everything nikitaka kitu i just tell them and then they could offer me so i just want to take this opportunity to thank every single soul that turned up in the hospital to just encourage me to just see what i'm doing to just be there for me i just want to take this opportunity to appreciate them and also the nurses in the hospital oh my goodness i even don't know where to start to thank them they were so kind to me they were so gentle they were so like every single time i remember because there was a time that the pain could just be on a high like in the a lot of pain and i remember oh my goodness i don't know why i feel like in my life i've just been surrounded with so many great people that god just sent in my life to just be there to help me and to walk with me and to make me feel like you are never alone and you will never be alone and that's what i'm feeling right now so i remember in the hospital there was like still not the next the next bed i kwa nam to now then the next bed bed ya pili kutoka place nilikuwa there was this certain lady mwenye alikuwa amelala hapo hivyo and it's an every time nilikuwa cuz the pain ilikuwa inakuwa inakuja uchungu after the medicine zimeanza ku subside nguvu za medicine zimeanza ku subside i used to feel a lot of pain a lot of pain sorry i used to feel a lot of pain and i remember hata sikuwa na shout like nilikuwa na i don't know if you have ever been in a great pain where by you even can't afford to cry you just you just you just have a ai kuna kuwa na unapumua na nguvu like that lady that lady was just there akisikia nikianza kutoaizwa masauti like some funny funny sounds she could come running and then ask me like what's wrong with you like what can i help you and mind you she was also a patient we go bless them like and also the hospital attendants oh my goodness Allow me to send a special thanks to this one lady. Is a nurse in that hospital. In that hospital by the name Agnes. That lady she was just a nurse. But what what she used to do to me is not what she's paid for. Like apart from her washing me, feeding me, she was there listening to my crazy stories like she could come there and then we could just talk after she was done with her shift before she even go home she could just come there and then tuna 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 kula tu tuma story story there she encouraged me she talked to me about her 
her story also with her family issues and she encouraged me and tells me that you know what you can pick your pieces and you can do this so it's not something that you should get down on yourself like Joyce you got this and I really want to appreciate her because I know that's not what she was paid for. She was paid to just take care of the patient, to just maybe wash me and feed me and to change my beddings. That's what she was paid for. But she decided to do something extra which only God can repay her. And honestly for that, may God bless her for me. Yes. Uh, also, there is a, this doctor, like, I don't know how they call them. They, the head of the doctor's the head of the doctors in the hospital, they call them. I don't know how they call them. Is it phys- physical? <laughs> I don't know how they call them, but the head of that of that of the doctor in that hospital. <sighs> the chief physician, sorry, yeah. The chief physician in that hospital. I remember I used to go around, but I felt like I remember he could come and ask me, how are you doing? How are you faring on? And he even went to an extent of prescribing me on uh, a psychotherapy. Yes. Honestly, I didn't think I needed it. Like, I'm sure it's like, I don't need a psychologist. I can do this. Like, do you know what I've gone through? Like, do you know how many times I've been, I've seen the worst? Like, I honestly, I felt like I didn't, didn't, need a psychotherapy but this doc after our small chit chat he realized that i needed therapy <laughs> and so he prescribed one and to me uh, I-, I felt like i did need one i even kind of felt like it was just a waste of resources and money which was cast by then but i needed it I honestly needed it. (laughs) I came to realize I needed it. After our first session with my therapist, I felt so much relieved. Like, I felt like, why did I even never thought of seeing a therapy all my life, all my relationship life, like my marriage life, my marriage in court life? Because after talking with the therapist, we had just a few sessions some few days and I felt like a completely changed person and when I was coming from that hospital and when I was done with the therapy sessions like the few sessions I had I felt like a new person I felt like a, 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 a motivated person I felt like I can do this yes and I want to take this opportunity to give a special Thanks to you, my therapist. I don't want to mention your name, but you know yourself. For those people who have, have not mentioned them about in my stay at the hospital, please don't come for me. I take this opportunity to appreciate you, all of you who was there from the moment I was taken to the first hospital to the second hospital to the moment I was discharged the host from the hospital. I really want to take this opportunity to appreciate you guys. Also, guys, you know, when you when I was at discharge from the hospital, certainly one me for now. Actually, I felt like it was kind of Donilianza, like my journey of healing. From the hospital, I was, they just did what they had to do, and then I was discharged. And then the healing, now the actual healing happened when I was at home. And I just want to take up this opportunity to appreciate every single person who sacrificed their time to come and see me when I was at home. And I know most of them don't want to be mentioned in this vlog. And um, I, will, I will respect that. I won't mention them. But just know that for what you did... Oh my goodness. I don't want to be mentioned. I don't want to be mentioned. I don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't, do it, don't. Yes, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate every single person who was with me when I was after I was discharged in the hospital. Uh, some people don't want to be mentioned in this picture, in this blog, obviously, but um, just know you are appreciated. Just know that every sacrifice you made didn't go unnoticed. I noticed it and I appreciate it to the core of my heart and I can't repay you. Like, I really can't repay you. And I really pray to God that 
at your time of need may he come on your for your rescue as you did to me so uh, oh my goodness i feel like uh, oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness i also want to take this opportunity to appreciate those who prayed for me <laughs> oh my goodness I want to take this opportunity to appreciate those who pray for me. Like my mom and <sighs> my mom and some of her few friends, they also take it upon themselves to just put me on their prayers. And honestly, I saw God's hand in my life. Like everything that was happening in my life that moment, it was like just miraculous just miraculous like my healing process was just miraculous despite the fact that it took a long time to heal but i was okay like every single day like i was very happy though i was in pain but every single time matter what i could tell i remember some people some few friends my well, my friends came to to see me and then they were like nani ndo ni mgonjwa hapa who is sick here <laughs> who is sick here because Joyce is here smiling all over that's the grace that god filled me with Like I was surrounded with loving people, caring people. Like every single day, like receiving phone calls asking me, "How are you doing? How are you faring? When you when when are you going back to the doctor?" Like after I go to the doctors, people are there calling me day and night. Like, what did, did the doc say about your faring? Like, I remember when I was told after the first incident, after the first visit on my doctor, when he was telling, when he told me that. I have a healing process and maybe I should consider going back to the theater. After I told some few of my friends they were like, "When are you planning to go back to the theater?" like and I was like, "Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not ready to go back to the theater." And they was like, "No, no, no, no. If the doc said you should go back to the theater, then you should go back to the theater. Just go back to the theater and then let us know. Let us know and know what we can do. Like let us know what we, how I can help you." And just hearing such a response from my friends and my family it was so overwhelming like it was so overwhelming i don't know if you have ever felt loved in a way that you don't deserve i don't know, i don't know if i'm even making any sense i don't know if i've ever been loved in a way that you feel like i don't deserve this i don't deserve this that's what i felt at that moment because let me be honest when i was married in court i kind of distanced nilije distant from my friends my family and everyone who seems to care about my life i distanced my life from every single soul i was kind of me alone and my family my family in court <laughs> i even feel upset saying that it's my family I put everyone aside and when the incident happened and I really needed some people to come along and help me I could not even face anyone to express myself to tell them that you know what this happened to me and I really need your support I didn't have a courage to do that honestly I didn't have courage to do that because I had pushed them all nilikuwa nimewa push away from me like you know I just want to work with this I just want to work for this marriage and If it means that you being aside then just be aside that was me and when those people decided to come for my to my aid the same people that I had pushed away it meant the world it meant the world it meant the world like I really want to take this opportunity to appreciate them ah I, I just want to mention this this one lady Don't feel offended for those who I didn't mention. I know you are I know what you did and I appreciate it is only that I don't want to mention your names here. Yes, for to keep you uh, to keep you private but allow me to appreciate this one lady, Mary like oh my goodness, this a sweet lady. Uh, this girl called Mary. Before then I was like Mona, like sick with Mona with my own eyes. I remember the first time we met with this girl was Nikiwa Hosi like Nikiwa Hosi she was just a distant friend when you had to join partner and the first time we meet nilikuwa kwa Hosi 
and then she was there ndo hiyo anatoa pesa ndo hiyo anaguza kuni visit every single time ndo hiyo hata nikiwa after nimekuwa discharge she was just there following up how i'm doing kunileta ya fruit like oh my goodness mary wherever you are if you're watching this just know i appreciate you and I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I promise myself not to do it. Just know I appreciate you so much and what you did to me still left has a mark in my life and may God repay you. Like honestly for what you did, I will never I even can will never have enough for to repay you. But I just pray God that may he repay the kindness you showed to me despite the fact that I was a stranger like you was ready to sacrifice your money, your time, your your everything just for me and I take this opportunity to appreciate you. I also want to take this opportunity to ask to have a special appreciation to my sister. That lady like sacrificed so much for me. Oh my goodness. Like you know sometimes we feel like because you are my sister because you are my family you're like you are obligated to do some something but at that moment it did feel like that it did feel like that because there are so many families that when they are one of them has an issue they don't come to their aid but my sister was there from day one washing me yes guys like nilikuwa na washwa washing me taking me to the toilet When I want to go outside like to bask like kukiwa nakajua she was there helping me No 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 I'm not going to cry I'm not going to cry I'm not going to cry Yes I want to take this opportunity to appreciate her and for her great sacrifice that she did and her entire family I just want to appreciate them and tell them that what they did in my life is not something that that can can go unnoticed like you guys like you made something that felt so big to just be a tiny thing and may God bless you for me like may God bless you for me and may God meet you at your lowest point and may god never leave your side every single moment that you need god may he always be there and every single moment that you need people to come your way to act for your aid may god send people to help you as you are sent to help me in my life so yeah i also want to make a special thanks to like i just feel like there's so many people that i should make a special thanks but if you are left out just know that got appreciated and some people even don't want to mention them here because 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 they also don't want to be mentioned anyway i also want to send a special thanks to Lillian and her family and her group of friends who decided to to come to the hospital they used to come to the hospital they bring fruit they a contribution they followed me up even when after i i, I was from hospital they kept on inquiring of how i'm doing like may god bless you for me, for me god may, may god bless you for me i remember when i was told that i should be taking bone soup <laughs> i remember i remember lilian decided that i'll be providing for you like when do you want the bone soup she took it upon herself to make sure that <sighs> may god bless you for me i don't want to be emotional may god bless you for me and also a special thanks to a special thanks to kevo and the entire team like for you mobilizing my entire friends the the, the entire group so that they can come to my place special thanks to you like you didn't have you didn't have to do it but you decided to do to do it anyway you felt like it was a your burden and for that you and the entire team who came to see me may god bless you 
may God bless you. And I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. May God bless you. A special thanks to my family, like my entire family, my cousins. Oh my goodness, I cannot forget cousin Dan. This guy decided that Joyce, I'm going to work with you in this. I remember he <laughs> I remember and then anambi your mother, Mama Ke, like my auntie. Like Joyce and Afa Kukula kukunyo a blended food. Joyce and Afa kukunyo blended fruit and you make a sijui greens, milk, yogurt, nini. And then he could make the mom do it, like blend everything, and then an let your power see. He could go home and a kujana fish he mepikwa and an iletea. And each and every time mange kuja kutembea, like a lazima ge kuda me bakamzigo. Be it mesha toka kwa hosi be it niko wapi lez lazima ge kuja tuna kamzigo. Fruits. I remember he also took it upon himself that I will walk with you in this journey when you are starting to learn how to walk again. I will be with you. I remember he was telling me, he was calling me and telling me, you know what, Kajoyzi, he used to call me Kajoyzi. Okay, they call me Kajoyzi. You know what, Joyce, I'm coming. And be, prepare, be prepared because I'm coming and we are going for a walk. Like for me to even start walking, to learn walking again, like with one clutch, it was his pressure. He was like, no, you should not be walking with two clutches at this point. Like, you should not be walking with two clutches. Like, you should not be sitting down the whole day. Like, you should not be sleeping the entire day. I want to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to him for what he did to me, for the motivation he motivated me, for sacrifices he made for his time, his finances, his I just want to appreciate him. A special thanks to you. <clears throat> I also want to, to send a special thanks to... I also want to, spend, to send a special thanks to my parents. They stood with me. I remember my, my mom sacrificing herself, like praying for me day and night, calling me every single day. Like she even said, like she was pleading with me near the home and I was telling me, Mama, no, I can't come home. Like I don't want you to see me in this state. And so I, can, I cannot come home. I cannot come home. So she sacrificed herself. She came where I was staying and we spent almost a week with her. And I saw motherly love. Like seeing my mom crying because of the pain that I was in. Like it meant the world for me. It meant the world for me. And for that, I take this opportunity to appreciate my parents. And also every single person who prayed for me. Um, I also want to take this opportunity to thank um, every person who visited me, every person who contributed because of me. And also, before I forget, I want to take this opportunity to say special thanks to Charles. Yes, uh, this was a person who was not my family. He was not even my friend initially. We met after the incidents and he took it upon himself to just be calling me every single day, wanting to know how I'm doing, coming to visit every single time he gets us to. I just want to say special thanks to you. And I, I can't forget even how you offered yourself. I remember him, he was kind of pushing me after the first doctor's report when, when I was told I should go back to to theater i remember him pushing me to go back to theater like just go back to theater what are you fearing he used to tell me what are you fearing like you fear you don't have finances just go to the hospital and then let us do the finance the, about the finance issue is not something that you should bother you you should only be bothered about your health let everyone else be bothered about the finances but for you just be but just concentrate on your health i remember him even asking me like pushing me that i should go to Kijabi Hospital. I don't know if Kijabi Hospital specialize with bones or rather, okay, he was telling me that there are some, okay, some qualified people there who like deal specifically with bones and he was even ready to take me there. 
special thanks to you special thanks to you i know i said no to that but it's not something that went unrecognized and for that may god bless you for every single time that you sacrificed your credit your time to just come see me to just talk to me may god bless you for me so before i forget a special thanks to sara sara was a friend that we used to school together in high school and she did something great and i know maybe maybe she don't know if it was something great to me and i i don't want to mention what she did but sara for what you did may god bless you may god bless you like may god bless you for you even taking a time to think about me and for you being bothered about what was happening in my life may god bless you may god bless you and may you never lack for what you did to me like i'm still smiling up to this day because of what you did may god bless you abundantly may god bless you for me if i have not mentioned you like a special thanks just know that i really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart for every single part you did for me and as i wind up i want to say for every single person who worked with me through my healing journey up to this point may god who sees in secret bless you in broad daylight and for that guys allow me to end this video and please continue subscribing continue liking continue commenting and until next time guys bye bye